Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be updating you on my Makeup Use Up for 2016. And so this is just kind of like a project pan series just for like the overall of 2016. And this is my first update. Um, so it is fe almost March right now, it's February 29th, and so for the first quarter of this past year, I'm just going to go over the products that I've used and my thoughts thus far on it. So I have my list here, and there is a total of 23 products that I wanted to use up for 2016, and as of today, I have finished 7 of them. So some of them I've already chucked away and they were in my empties video. And then there are a few empties here that I have um, that I've just kind of held on to that I will show you. So the first product that I used up was the Wet n Wild palette in Smoke and Melrose. It was an eyeshadow palette. The next is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Whiskey. The next is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Caramel. I also finished the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Pink Lady. It was just like a little sampler. I also finished the MAC Lipstick in Honey Love. I do have that packaging here, and I'm going to hold on to this to back to MAC it. And I also finished the Physician's Formula Blush in Rosy Glow, which I also have this packaging. And I'm also going to hold on to this because... Sometimes I find that I need packages like this to like repress eyeshadows in or something, or you just never know, so I'm going to hold on to that packaging. I absolutely loved this blush. It was beautiful. I would definitely recommend this product, and I would also recommend the MAC Lipstick in Honey Love. And I think I will eventually repurchase those, but first I'm going to, you know, work through some of the products that I have now. And the final product that I have finished so far is the Harajuku Lover's Perfume which is here, and I am keeping this packaging as well because, oh, I didn't like this perfume, because I just think it's adorable. So I'm keeping that. And so let's see how many products I have left. So I have 16 products remaining, and I'm feeling pretty good so far about my progress. And I'm also incorporating a lot of these products into current project pans that I have, so I'm doing... Right now I'm doing the Finished 5 by Cinco de Mayo project and also the Finished 7 by Spring project. And some of the products that I'm really trying to focus on right now that are also on this list are the is the L'Oreal palette in Autumn Leaves, the Rimmel Lip Liner in Tiramisu, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Mood Light, and then I also have some other products that aren't on this list that are in those projects. And some of the products that I look on here on this list that I'm like looking over, I'm kind of doubtful about because I just feel like I have a lot of eyeshadows on this list. Like I have the Maybelline Eyeshadow in Antique Jade, I have the Stila Magnificent Metals Eyes in Comics Gold, I have the L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadow Duo in Flare, I have Jumbo Pencils, I have Eye Pencils. And I just don't know if I'll be able to finish all of those. So I'm definitely, just like with my progress so far, I'm feeling a little bit doubtful about that. Also, I on here I have the Hard Candy Blush Crushed Baked Blush in Honeymoon, which is right here. And I haven't like used this at all this year. And I'm really trying to work on, I unexpectedly decided that I was going to try to finish this product up. And it's the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. This is a beautiful shade. I am wearing it today. And this is like the slowest going product ever. And it's it's very pigmented so I only need like a little bit. And I feel, I've been using this for like two months. And I feel like it's finally starting to show a little bit of wear and tear. And the reason I decided to use this up is because I thought it was going to be a quick use up because it only has 0.12 ounces of product in it. And let's see how much the Honeymoon has. 0.28 ounces. The Hard Candy has over two times the amount that's in this Milani one. And this Milani one, it's a very good formula and it's not very powdery. So it's like whatever I get on my brush is like going on my cheeks. You know what I mean? Like I can't even tap it off. Like nothing comes out off of my brush. And so I'm really trying to focus on using this, you guys. But And then move on to this one. But I just don't know. I don't know if I can finish both of these this year. 
that's like my goal. Blush is by far the hardest product for me to use up. That and lipstick. Like I just feel like it takes forever to use those two. So I do feel good about this project so far. But this, like, especially this past week, I was kind of feeling like all my products are just going by really slowly and I just was feeling like it's going to take a long time to use up the products that I'm trying to focus on right now. And it's just, I just have to keep reminding myself, you know, it's just one day at a time, one use at a time. And I just really want to, like, shave down my collection so that then I can buy things and feel good about purchasing them. You know what I mean? Because there's so many products that I want to try. And I am a makeup collector. However, I want to really use and enjoy the products that I do have. So that is my update number one for the Project Use Up for 2016. Let me know how you're doing. Have you decided to join this? And I will be doing another half year update in a few months. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.